last episode. While Prince Roland, Stripe, and Blyken were sleeping in their room at the Queen's Grace Tavern, they were awoken by a ghastly figure. It was the ghost of Captain Herbert Steelgrave, who Roland and Prince had not seen since arriving in Dover. Steelgrave met Blyken and Stripe for the first time. Blyken made friends with the ghost of the pirate captain, while Stripe was antagonistic towards him. He advised Roland and Prince he had recently seen the misfit bastards with a fancy half-elf, who the party came to believe was King Dokken Swiftwater, alongside Melvin, a wizard. From Steelgrave's description, it sounded like the bastards had reached the doghouse in Opponent's Bog, which was originally Prince's objective in Dova. Steelgrave learned the misfit bastards intended to leave the doghouse on the third day of Ill Matter, approximately two weeks from now. Drow soldiers donning sleigh colors bursted into the tavern. Eight of them hurried upstairs, while two more approached the bar. Dakarth entered as well and stood near the entrance to the structure. The two drow that approached the bar spoke to Vecni and asked if she was the high elf from Coldbank in Elvish. Vecni attempted to hide her elven ears and pretended not to speak Elvish, but she failed to fool the drow. They stated they came on orders from the Slay Master of War, Dakarth Termtmeni, on behalf of the Prince and Princess of Ferelden. The two drow continued they were taking Vecni into their custody. Vecni fled across the bar and jumped out a window, escaping into an alley. The drow pursued after her. The other eight drow entered the room where Stripe, Prince, Roland, and Blyken were speaking with Captain Steelgrave. Steelgrave dissipated and disappeared as the drow entered the room. The drow stated the same thing to the four PCs that the other two drow had said to Vecni downstairs, and told the adventurers they would be placed into custody. Blyken did his thing and asked a bunch of questions. He learned the drow were ordered to bring the party to better accommodations to rest, but that they planned to bring Stripe to the dungeons due to his actions earlier in the day. Blyken held the hand of one of the female drow for a short time, but then realized perhaps he shouldn't trust her. Stripe defiantly stated he would not be going with the drow. The drow attempted to seize the murderous goblin, but he was still under the effect of a potion he drank much earlier in the day and could not be grappled. The drow failed to grab him, and Stripe darted towards a nearby window. The drow slashed at Stripe with their scimitars, badly wounding him, but he was able to get past them and hurtle out of the second story window, landing hard in the alleyway beside the fleeing Vecni. The two adventurers delved into the sewers to escape their pursuers. Meanwhile, Blyken and Roland agreed to go with the drow to the barracks. Blyken and Roland arrived at their new room and observed two of the nine beds were occupied by sleeping forms. Blyken pulled the covers back from the first form and saw a sleeping Soren. He went over to the other bed and pulled back the covers, revealing a sleeping woman he did not recognize. He casted the light spell on her, and she startled awake. She appeared to be a drow, but had the voice of Vesiesh. A moment later, she turned over and then back again, appearing as the Vesiesh Blyken was familiar with. Shortly after that, Vesiesh woke Soren up with dancing lights. Soren, Ves, Blyken, and Roland were reunited with one another. Back in the sewers, Vecni and Stripe were unhappy with how they were treated by the drow and dissatisfied that Queen's Grace leadership would allow the drow this much control in the city. They decided to take out some revenge by attacking the civilian populace. The duo traveled to a residential area of the city, far from the keep. Vess lit a Molotov cocktail and threw it onto the thatched roof of one of the houses, hoping to avoid killing innocent people inside. Stripe used a fire potion that he obtained during the Trial of Tears to set the door of another structure aflame, hoping to kill all inside. The pair then delved back into the sewers. Later, it was confirmed that the home stripe set ablaze and three connected homes burnt down and 14 halflings died in the inferno. Vecni and Stripe traveled through the sewer towards the dungeons, where they believed their friends were imprisoned. Vecni attempted to scale the dungeon wall with her grapnel, but was unable to do so. Next, the two adventurers came up with a new plan. Vecni would pretend she apprehended Stripe and was delivering him to the dungeons. She walked up to the dungeon door and knocked, 
receiving an answer a few moments later. Welcome back to another episode of Power Word Nerd. And um, this metal slat behind the iron bars and the window for the door gets pulled to the side. And you see these, uh, these eyes there. And you hear a voice say, uh, Aye, what do, you, what do you need? What are you doing here? Uh, I want to peek up and do I see any, any other features like what color skin they have, anything like that? Humanoid skin, you could see some like, what well, seems like a white sideburns. Can't really see anything else. Uh, so I'll say an undercommon blue that eyes. I have. What? He has blue eyes. I'll say an undercommon that I have stripes. The wanted goblin. I'll, I'll say. Bullshit! We did nothing wrong. Fuck you! Fuck you! And I'll spit at the ground like twelve uh. stepping <laughs> feet. Ah, Dakarth said that uh, it was going to be his men that were going to bring this this goblin in here. Is it an undercommon or common? In his language? Yeah, I said it in undercommon. Does he respond in undercommon? Oh, oh, you said in undercommon? Oh, yeah. then he doesn't answer you at all. He goes, what? <laughs> uh, in common. Then Vecmi will say, uh, in, in, in common, that I have strike the one that the guards are looking for. Yeah, Dar- Dakar said he was going to bring some uh, goblin, but I thought it was. Uh, what happened? I guess uh, they started hiring uh, bounty hunters. Roll of deception. 19 plus 2. 21. 21. Okay. Um, he doesn't say anything. The slit for the door closes. A moment goes by, and you hear what sounds like a key. And the door pops open. Very nice. And you see behind the door, there's like a little stool that was set up behind the door. It must have been moved over to the side. And a dwarf standing there. <laughs> Dakar said to uh, put him in the cell with Rothschild. Sure. He's a dirty human. When he opens the door, is there any other guards no, around? No. no. Uh... Vecna will go. He looks tired. Vecna puts her hand on your shoulder to just to like so you don't jump out. <clears throat> okay. You can feel my muscles are tense. She goes, all right, you, uh, you stay here at the door. I don't know if I was followed. To him? Yeah. He goes, what? Well, I'll, I'll just lock the door. Uh, I guess I'll just, well, fine, be that way. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Listen, I don't work in a prison. I don't know how it works. Yeah, no one's going to come in after you. Don't worry about it. All right. So we take a couple steps in. Closes the door. And I'm just going to keep looking around, seeing if I see any other guards. Turns his back to you and starts uh, trying to lock the door. You don't see anybody. She takes her hand off of uh, Stripe's shoulder. I uh, immediately turn around, and as soon as his back is turned, I go stab him in the back of the head. And I'll take a a quick swing. Roll stealth and a sleight of hand. Stealth and a sleight of Mm -hmm. hand. (laughs) Two rolls. Roll the stealth first. Okay. See if he catches you. To see if he catches you sneaking up on him, and the sleight of hand to see if you're able to kill him without him doing anything. Okay, oh. well, the stealth is a five. Okay. So you already fail. Okay, but a sleight of hand <laughs> is a ten. That, fa- that would fail also. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so, so oh, uh, oh, what are you doing? And he backs. Stop mid swing. Yeah. I think the attacks would probably still go through. Well, no, he misses. Hmm. You just said it. And then I try to hit him again. Yep. All right, you can roll. Uh, this guy's this guy's not that not very strong. I'm literally gonna attack him until <coughs> he's either dead or I uh, fail. We are gonna. Do you have full HP? Almost. You know what, we are gonna we are gonna roll priority just to see if he puts if he's able to put damage on you at all. All right. So strike your first. So I'm gonna use my bonus action to cut my hand a little bit. Okay. My blood, I'm going to rub the blood in between both daggers. That's my bonus action. I'm going to try to strike at him with my dagger. Okay. I suck. Eight. Dude, use different Miss. dice. Yes. Is that it for your turn? Yeah, I, only have one. I still only have one attack. Uh, Vecni. You suck. 
Yeah, I do. It's it's as he swings, uh, Vecni will swing her sword around. I have a plus five. Does a 13 hit? Yeah. So let's see. What is my sword? Is that a d6? Yes. That's 11 total. Describe it. Uh, as he goes, <laughs> and he misses, Vecna just comes right across his throat. Uh, your blade slices through his throat. Blood starts pouring out of his mouth. And you, and you hear this very, again, he can't really talk, but you do hear very, very subtle, oh, why? And, uh, and he collapses. A, as the blood starts pouring out, can I use another action to pop my water skin and have the water go around so that I can freeze so the blood doesn't get on his tunic? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you do it. So he's, he's dead. And the water comes and just freezes around the neck so the blood doesn't come out. So you, did, you had two actions? What? Mm. You had two actions. That's a good point. They we're out of priority. Yeah, but it, you, it still would take you six seconds to kill him, and in six seconds, that's fine. Six seconds later, I'd do it. All right, so there is blood on the floor. Yeah. Why did you do that? Well, we could use his tunic. Hmm. We have an idea. Okay. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll give you his tunic. Okay, I'll do that. Along with the key. And then I'll take my dagger, and I'll carve into his chest. What is yours is ours. Oh! Yeah. Oh, we're burning this mother down. Burning this down. <laughs> wow! And my dagger does fire damage, so I'm assuming it'll cauterize. It would. And you're just leaving your shirt open with that? Oh, he's, we're taking the tunic. Yeah, so he's bare chested, I guess. Yeah. That was clever, clever as fuck. <laughs> okay. Huh. Okay. Uh, so how, how bloody is the tunic? Is it bad? Yeah, I'm six guessing. seconds is a long time. Uh, I'll try to clean it with with water and when I try to best. But what color is it? Pink, right? The tunic. Yeah, is it uh, pink? his tunic is is light blue. So the slate colors are light blue, white, and pink. And their clothes aren't always uniform. Some some people just have blue. Okay. Some people have like you. a white, a blue, a pink cape and a blue shirt. Well, I'll, I'll put it on anyway. Okay. And uh, all right, let's uh, make our way down to the uh, the the cells. Okay. So we'll go sh cell to cell. And I'm just gonna start opening them. So as you as you're walking down, you see um, rows and rows of empty cells. You can hear water dripping from afar. Uh, you hear and see rats. Well, oh, oh, never mind. Rats scurrying about. As you as you walk, you see what looks like to be like really old humanoid bones in some of the cells. Um, as you're walking down, because they don't treat the prisoners very nice. Look, the, the bones look really old. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. <laughs> uh, as you keep walking, uh, you do see on the left side in one of the cells there is a sleeping form. Yeah, she'll, she'll go up to him and just bang on the, the cell lightly. She goes, "Hey, hey, wake up! What, what, what is going on?" And you turn, and you see the face of the halfling that was arrested the night before. Ah. <laughs> Let me in. Uh, hey, man. <laughs> keep it quiet. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, what, are you, what are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? It could be a distraction. Help! 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 Okay, well now I can win. Yeah. Describe what you do. I can't describe it. God damn it. With both my daggers like this, I stab downward. <laughs> right into his eyes. <laughs> until his face is just a bloody mess. Oh and then God. blood explodes into the cell. It's covering my As face. As he's doing that, I'm just going to keep an eye. Oh my God. Head on a swivel. That's <laughs> hot. Oh my God. We were going to let you out. And then stab you in the back. You freaking ruined it. I hope the guards is coming to kill you guys. You, so you continue walking gonna get, and... I'm um, going to keep my ears out too. It's coming if I hear it. Hear it. <laughs> okay. You get to almost like a little sitting area. Like half at a halfway kind of point as you walk down the the tier, and you see this bookshelf that's covered in cobwebs. You see that this one area of the shelf it seems like it was recently disturbed, and and it seems like it's a little fresher of an area. Are they books? They're all books in there. Like the whole thing's like cobwebby, dusty, but this yeah. one area looks like you can see like fingerprints. Like, mm. the, do you? Uh, are there still cells around this area? No, you're in like a sitting area. Pass by the books real quick. I'll take a look. Is there anything of interest in the books? You see one book that kind of um, that kind of sticks out to you. Oh, it's actually not that long. Well, not a lot of time to read it because we're kind of a, okay. a time yeah. crunch. You just grab the book. I grab the book and I uh, keep running. 
script book. And so the only person we found in any of these cells was a halfling? So far. Okay. Um, so you keep walking and you get down to what looks like it's like the end of uh, all the cells. And you see right across from you, there is a uh, door with this uh, wooden sign nailed into it. And there's all these chains and locks around the, uh, the door handle. And the sign says in Elvish, which you can read, correct? Mm -hmm. Danger, do not enter. Stranger danger? On the, very la on the very last cell to the left, there was another form, another person in that cell. We'll, we'll go up to that door and I'll start doing the same thing. Like, 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 like. This man uh, that's laying in what looks to be like soiled straw, wood stained bed sheets. <sighs> They're laying on the ground. He just her cloak up. He wakes up. <sighs> As he gets startled and kind of sits up, you can almost get this like whiff of this just foul BO and like Ugh. shit smell. Ugh. The man looks over to you. Well, we were just in the source, I guess we seem to. There is some dim light from um, torches that are lit yeah. throughout the cells. They're pretty spaced apart, but you, you are able to get a nice look at this guy's uh, man and you see he's got this ragged clothes and he's got this just like clumpy, patchy black beard with these like rotten yellow teeth. Um, very similar to what Damon Shen looked like, if you remember him. And he looks up oh, or not catch. Oh, Damon. Okay. Well, Damon. Oh, Dan's one you? shot. What's going on? Big what? Brother. Hey, we're gonna let you out. So you come with us. That guy. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. First of all, keep it down. Okay. Cool. Secondly, oh, who's in this door? Oh, that's the <laughs> second floor. <laughs> this is the second floor of the dungeon. What's up there? This leads it's downstairs, I think. But uh, than, uh, I, I heard them talking. They, they didn't clear that out yet. There's a monster and shit in there. Go and open it. Actually, I don't give a fuck. You can open it if you let me out. Okay, I don't give a fuck. See, open it. Is he's the only one besides the halfling in all these cells? Cells. Uh, right. Uh, what is your name? I say as I'm unlocking the door. He walks up to the cell and holds out this like uh, really dirty, uh, <coughs> stinky hand with brown, it's like brown, like a uh, uh, stain on his hand. And he goes, "Name's Rothschild." Why does this name sound familiar? Is yeah. he on a wanted poster? Is he? I don't know. I don't have they're over there. It's the old history. Monster? That's the Red Soon. Does the name sound that. familiar to Beckney? I don't think uh you you did hear someone had mentioned that there was a Rothschild lock in the dungeons. In the <laughs> bar. You did hear that. There was a guy named guy that served chaos. He's not on the wanted poster. You did hear them. I mean, it would make sense. He's already captured. Yeah. Doesn't mean they go around and take them all down. True. True. Uh, Beckney is uh, fiddling with the door. The door locks. She goes, uh, not right now. She unlocks the door. She goes, are you ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Let's so get the fuck out of here. She looks over and it just looks over all the other cells on the other side of the wall. Anything? Any movement? No. Nothing? Uh, something you don't resist though. And then leave. There are multiple locks, as I as I described. Yeah. So if you're gonna try to open all the locks, you're gonna need to roll three separate sleight of hand rolls. Oh, this key Even with the key. What? No, the key does not open the locks. Oh, I have no. a lockpick kit. I'll let you use. I don't. I'm doing. You need proficiency to get his bonuses. Uh, I don't have it. I don't have proficiency, so it's the same. Right. You just get plus zero, right? No, you get, you get plus. You get your dex if you have proficiency in these tools. Yeah, but if you don't have proficiency, you just don't get the pluses. Right. Yeah, exactly. So if he, but if he has that, sometimes you get it and you don't get the tools, like, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I'm proficient in that. I don't know how to check. First one, uh, 11 total. So you failed to open that one. Okay, second one. Crit 20. You open, mm -hmm. you hear a <laughs> and one of the locks pops open. Okay. The one you failed on? No, it's a different one. <laughs> and uh, the third one? Uh, 20 total. That one also opens. Shit, I can't get this one open. We won't be able to try it better than you will. I'm assuming this door is like steel or something. Yeah, yeah this this is not wooden like the like the rest oh, of the No, this is a steel this yeah. door is like fucking like heavy duty, like they're not fucking around. They don't want to have It's like iron. It's like an iron door. Uh, so you can only give it a shot. But uh, you can try to destroy it if you want. I'm not gonna try it. It just damage my weapons. No, you still have the lockpick tools. Oh, you yeah, can't try. You can't try. Yeah, you can't try open the lock again. Uh, Rothschild, you think you could get this open? 
Yeah, I can, but uh, I, I need some I need some stuff. Hmm. Well, some stuff. I had obtained explosives from the black market in Vigor Valley City, and I plan to destroy this uh, cave entr entrance nearby by those falls. But uh, I got arrested. I've got the uh, explosives stored by the falls. We can grab them and come back. How far is it? Uh, it's a two days walk. Uh, so it's not this moment. So it doesn't tell us now. Lovely. Well, but let's remember that. So we're very much like a blow this place up. Hmm. This is true. Uh. Hmm. Shall we. Shall we get back to the stores and rest for. Maybe we can rendezvous with our group in the morning. How are we going to rendezvous with them, Zeus? They might be locked through this door. He said that, that this door hasn't been opened. Do you think there are people in there? No, no one's gone. I've been I've been locked in here for a fortnight. There's there's nobody nobody's went through that door. They only said that I was going to the dungeon. No prisoners are being held in there. That's it is unclear. When uh when Slate took us over, I guess, or whatever, uh there's all kinds of beasts and, and creatures living in the dungeons. They were only able to clear out the first floor. So you gave him lockpick tools though, right? No, no, I, I offered him to use it if he could use it. I mean, but you could still use it though, right? And try it yourself? Not, not that I'm not grateful, What's this, but... What he's saying is he already tried to roll for that, so I feel like we can't just keep rolling and rolling. Not right. that I'm not grateful, but what the fuck are you guys doing here? Why are we here? They thought that our comrades were locked up here. Oh. They must be somewhere else. So, so Shilter or, or Inez or, or one of their, their buddies locked you guys up? Locked up your friends? I do not know the name Shilter, but... Uh, uh, say I was a war master of the car or, mm, or whatever. Yeah, yeah I know him. He's an asshole too. Mm. Yo, so what do you want to do? We want to go kill everybody and, and break your friends out. I'm, I'm down. Let me ask. Is there only one guard on, on watch at night? Yeah, Bill Sanders is the only one that's here. And he's dead. You killed Bill Sanders? Oh, fuck that prick. <laughs> uh, uh, you did it? <laughs> yeah. And he holds out his hand to pound you. Make me nice. I thought you had these ones. Some, some of the brown smudge gets smudged off. <laughs> I'm used to living in the sewer. All right. So, <laughs> okay. uh, so we took off two of the locks. Is the door any looser? No. All right. Becky's just going to start pounding on the door. Maybe, maybe we can get them to come here. Yeah. Well, I mean, if they are monsters, maybe they can break through one chain. You pound the door for uh, for like a few seconds, and it does sound like you hear like some muffled noise from the other side, but it's pretty soundproof. Like you can't really hear what's yeah, going on. It's a solid steel door. Yeah. You just hear like, uh, "Hey, peaches, come out the door." And we go back into the sewer. Yeah. Yeah. I say, let's go back into the sewer and rest. And then read your book and we go to bed. Yeah, that's fine. I'll read it. Year six three seven zero. Vigor conquered Dova. King Lauren. Lord Azrael, Lord Sanctuseros, Loren. Lord Azrael? Yeah. Why do we know that name? Because Azrael is a devil or something? Azrael, Zariel is a devil. <laughs> Zariel, but... Lord. Azrael is a real-life angel. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Lord Ravenclaw, Lord Cordova, and many others were executed. The Order of Dominance uh, became aware of Machi's actions since leaving the Order. They began making plans to stop him. Some of the nobles residing in King Lorien's valley knelt to vigor and eventually became known as Blues. Others fled south and escaped into the White Fawn Forest, I'm sorry, the Chipotle Woods. They hmm. restored the crumbling ancient castle of Dilhanan deep in the forest, renaming it Queen's Grace. They declared Inez Cordova, eldest child of the executed Cordova. That's not true. Isn't the eldest daughter Queen Tira or Princess Tiraz? Princess Tiraz is the daughter of the king. Isn't king Lorian. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, this is what formed the faction Slay. After the Blue Bolt fell to Vigor, Lord Bolts bent the knee and was taken prisoner. Vigor took control of the land of Cordova, and Bolts was placed into Cordova's dungeons. Oh, did we not find Bolts? Uh, he swore allegiance to Vigor and was allowed freedom to walk the castle grounds. Oh, okay. Wait, so... You guys, aren't, you guys aren't in Cordova. You're in Queen's Graves. Oh, okay. I got you. Oh, that's where I'm getting confused. Okay. So we, 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 we go back. Lord Camembert. We, we look through the slit in the door, and if Is it's clear, we're going to go back know? in the sewers Camembert? to rest. Wasn't that the 
guy so you were to last time. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So we'll go back to the sewers and then we'll we'll rest. That's the guy that gave last time. Yeah. Okay. With uh, Rothschild. Yeah. If he does, comes with us. Yeah. Does yeah. he seem um, sketchy? Sketchy. Oh yeah. Does he seem? <laughs> do we feel safe that we can both fall asleep with him? Probably not. Huh. Maybe we should not. Probably not. Like, I only need four hours. Okay. You want to take? Or you want to sleep first, and we'll sleep second. You need it more than I do. We do. So you go ahead. I'll keep watch. Okay. Kill him in his sleep. We he doesn't. He doesn't do anything in the night. He doesn't try to do anything to you guys. We do the same thing. We'll go to bed. You can go to the other group. Now, right. Everybody wakes up the next morning. What do you guys do? Oh wait, that's not. That's the right dice. Uh, overnight, Vess murdered Blaken. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. He allows it. Um, uh, Vessy Ash will ca- uh, no, we have a long rest, will cast the sky self, so she'll just be sitting on her bed brushing her hair with her scarf out form. We, d- we do get a long rest, right? Yeah. That's a very empty prison for a city. Yeah. It's a very peaceful city. It was. It was. It was. Everyone's having a good time. Well, not now. Not now. Damn, <laughs> blood mist came in here and fucked shit up. Same. We should do that all over the city. Uh, Sora kind of like wakes up, you know, and kind of like looks over to these two and what brought you in so late? I don't respond. Okay, don't respond. Uh, we were brought in by... Of course, of course. We were brought in by a handful of drow guards in the middle of the night at 2 a.m. Oh, so they, they brought you here. They did. And I see that uh, we were missing a few. What happened? Uh, well, when they tried to forcibly bring us here, Stripe attacked the guards and jumped out the window, and Vecni was downstairs. I don't know what happened, but being as how she's not here, I assume she also escaped. So you're saying the rape goblin is on the loose? <laughs> that's, accurate. that's accurate. Sorry. That's what... Soren saw you do that. So. The rape goblin, the rape goblin, is, goblin on the is on the loose. <laughs> what? You saw me do what? Oh my no. god. So what you're saying is that it the rape funny. goblin is on the loose and is being chased down by the... by Acme? Uh No, I mean the... The rape goblin is on the loose, and I don't know where Vecna is. Did she follow him, or did she go after him? Well, if these idiots didn't bring me here, I could have found Vecna, but I have no idea where she went. I understand. And I don't know what happened, so I don't know what the miscommunication was when them trying to get you here and then trying to forcibly get you here. What do you but mean? my question was, did she go after him, or did she go with him? I... I literally don't know, okay. unless you want me to meta. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I literally don't know. No, you, you wouldn't know. Huh? I wouldn't. You wouldn't know. Okay, yeah. That's fine. So the rape goblin is loose in the city, and Vecni is with him for reasons. I, I don't know if Vecni is with him. They're both uh, on the loose. That's all. The loose. That's all I know. On the loose. Well. Well, since we're all uh, very popular here for some reason that we got a platoon of guards in the middle of the night to escort well, my, us here. my sister and I, uh, we, we happened to know some people in high places, and we, we sent uh, oh, that's people right. after you to, to bring you to these barracks and have a good night's rest. That, that was you that sent them? Yes. That is the oh. worst fucking idea I've ever heard. What? You know the fucking rape goblin is volatile and you sent a whole platoon of guards into the into the uh, thing to get us? Y- yes. <laughs> Want to come play in the sore with me and Steve? Because I'm having a great time. Wait, why do you hate this game? <laughs> Joe just admitted... And then what? Who sent, sent who sent them? Yeah, because they yeah. said last well he doesn't so know. I yeah. wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Yeah, that's fair. But <laughs> <laughs> we had a we had a conversation and we wanted to make you sure that you guys got here and got here safely. Uh I mean we, you tell us before. We were that you, you left us. That. Oh you weren't communicating with me. I mean if you oh, that's right. If you 
know so much about this place, then wouldn't we have just been safe in the tavern till morning? In the tavern? Well, yeah, that's where we were, right? I mean, you, you all chose to stop at the tavern. And I we... did mention that I knew who Descartes was. And also, we tried to go in, but the rape goblin shut the door on us. Yeah. Well, I was mind. already in, so I didn't know he did well, that. Hmm? I was already in the tavern, so I didn't actually see him do that. And when you guys were in the tavern, we didn't know who you were with or what happened. The only thing that we knew is that we were in a nice castle, and we thought that having a bed and a roof and possibly breakfast in the morning would be a great thing for the rest of us. Well, that's not exactly how your uh, platoon explained it. They just said, come with us, brandishing weapons and being all menacing and shit. That's all they said? So, if you guys came, why did the others leave? Because they're they were... brother. Because the the they approached us. Away. They do not understand the of... How did they approach you? Being escorted. Mm. Well, they literally barged into our room at 2 a.m. and said, you have, to, you have to come with us. And they gave no reasons except something vague about the prince and princess of Ferelden and Dakarth. Hmm. And the rape goblin decided that he wasn't going to come? Well, you know how he gets. He tried to stab <laughs> the guards and he jumped out the window. He tried to, he tried to, you know he tried, how he gets. He tried to murder the guards? I didn't he did. Stop. Sorry. <laughs> that makes him dangerous. <laughs> well, he wasn't dangerous when he was us until the guards came brandishing weapons. They showed their weapons? That could be that demon. <laughs> they pulled out their whips. They pulled out, the, they pulled out their the weapons. ones upstairs or just the ones downstairs? Upstairs, did. They had both it. They pulled out their... Whips. whips upstairs. Cool whips. So they pull so out a whip. Whips. whips. And in response, you guys trying to murder them? No, I think the whips came out before uh, the rape goblin went all rape goblin-y. So before <laughs> he went rape goblin-y, they, he tried to kill them first and then they pulled out their whips? No, they pulled them out right away. Yeah, they kicked down the door and then... They said, come with us. They kicked down the door? So yeah, the door it's broken. It's broken? Completely. Completely broken. <laughs> Completely we broken. got swatted, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we got fucking then swatted. They, then they broke the window and also, said, go ahead and jump out that. Uh, thing. You guys did hear them say, he's going to the dungeon. Yeah. Yeah, so. and they said they were going to throw a stripe in the dungeon, so mm -hmm. he escaped. Well, he deserves to be in the dungeon. <laughs> so is, is that did where he, he is? That does where he, he rape somebody while I was sleeping with him? Ah... Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's good. So Stripe was supposed to go to the dungeons. Is that where he is now? I, I literally... Actually, he jumped out of a I literally... <laughs> he jumped out of a window. Yeah. And that's the last we've seen him. So he's probably fine. Hmm. Probably well, just perhaps fine. perhaps we should uh, alert Darkar to uh, check the dungeons and make sure that uh, maybe he's possibly good in idea. He, he Maybe he was uh, picked up there and was transported. Okay. Oh, I'd be looking for chaos. Bloodness. Bloodness, yeah, yeah. Bloodness. Yeah. Why why did you send these people to pick us up and why did you not let them know that it wasn't like to arrest us? Because that's how we felt. I do not control what happens here. Yeah. Well, we you asked you to we we wanted to make sure that you guys had a safe place to stay for the night. Well, you obviously have some degree of control if you were able to send eight armed guards. We made so. a request. They responded with how they feel accustomed to doing it. We can't tell their guards their, to go and, oh, be gentle. What they do is what they do. It seems like the problem is you have a, you know, with authority is what it is. Perhaps you should really just listen to the you. law. You, you are a pirate. <laughs> Well, I have a problem when anyone comes busting into my room at 2 a.m. and demands I come with them. If I did that to you guys and busted into your room at 2 a.m. and demanded you uh, came with me. The law of a, ca a kingdom that we are in, if they come into our room, it is best to obey and not argue. There must be a reason well, why they would come that's, into our room. That's why we're here. And apparently the reason is you guys told them to uh, pick us up at 2 a.m. Very well, menacing. It wasn't 2 a.m. when we told them to get you. It's just when they found you. Coming from the... People that we've been around, 2 a.m. is not an early night.
At this point, we experienced some technical difficulties with the audio. After the adventurers chatted for a bit, Soren and Vess told the rest of the group to stay put while they went ahead to meet with the Royal Council. Soren and Vess walked to the main entrance of the keep where they spoke with a guard. The guard permitted them to enter. After this, we decided to move back over to Vecni, Stripe, and Rothschild, awakening in the sewers. What's Stripe, Vecni, and Rothschild doing? Uh, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to clean off my the blood that's on me. Uh-huh. In the sewer shit? Yeah. I've lived You like, don't have clean water. I've lived like this in sewers literally my whole life. Sure. I'm not arguing the fact yeah. that you lived in sewers your entire life. I'm arguing uh, the fact that you don't have clean water. I didn't say cleaning with clean water. <laughs> you got it. Um, Becky looks at you and goes, how is this money? We're, we're okay. Do you remember what happened last night? We remember what happens every night. Cletus? No. Shit. Who's Cletus? Shit. You got the rape one. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Rothschild's still asleep. This is Rothschild. Yes. You see me grab rope, I'd bind his hands. So you asleep. don't remember last night. No, we do know, <laughs> we do know the name. We no, no, no. I don't know who was awake last night. I know what happens. He didn't say the name. He know he knows the consciousness, like what happened, but he doesn't know who he was. Exactly. Except oh, for really? yeah, except so you for do have memories of what but, happened? but you can't figure except it out by watching yourself like rape somebody. Stripe Prime, <laughs> Stripe Prime, you know knows nothing about what happened unless oh. he is awake. Oh, oh, interesting. Not to have to spell that out to you, but you already know this knowledge. Go that on. seems kind of meta. Fuck you, down. <laughs> <laughs> Real yeah, you see real. me, you see me take out rope and start to bind his hands. <laughs> what are so you taking him for? He is a criminal. He has to be put to justice. That we are criminals crazy. too. <laughs> right. no, we're not. Tournament. I thought you said you remembered what happened last night. It wasn't us. Who was it? It wasn't us. We didn't do it. You know what? This could work. Uh, you're right. It wasn't me. <laughs> you know who it was? Hmm. Uh, who did who? The carving that you did. Who was that? Chaos. Blood, blood mist. Blood mist. It was the blood mist. Oh, we should find them. But this one needs to go back to the dungeon. Do you recall uh, what happened at the inn? Mm, we do. They tried to lock us up. Mm, we for must no reason. This is an undue process. See, they, they were falsely accusing us of things. Yes, we must correct this issue immediately. Mm, let's take our time. Why? A lot of shit was happening last night. A lot of shit is in here. Look at this place. Well, you washed your clothes in it. It must not bother you too much. No, but we won't need to stay here if we don't like it. Yes, we should find somewhere else to uh, maybe hide we our... We need to find the group and deliver this fifth back to his son. He helped us escape. He could be useful to us. We have for no now. use for a criminal. For now, there's always <laughs> oh use for God. everybody. No. He does not just get to escape judgment. Oh, you're like the cop now? That's awesome. Ooh. How lucky is that, right? Turn him in. How lucky is that? One night, try to murder everyone. Trying to figure out how to use bring, it. Bring prison to three. <laughs> Next morning, you're tying him up. got to bring him back, bro. Yeah. Let's hope he doesn't say anything, huh? You, you killed the chill car. Uh, do I know this one's, this justice one's personality? I don't know. I, I didn't write the names down. So I don't know. Wild card, up baby. I don't remember there ever being a justice one. I don't know. I'm not keeping track of what you guys know about my character when I have four. Well, has it come up before? He may, not have, he may not have made this one before. Right. Yeah. Fucking A, Stephen. Fucking I think A. it's... Alright, well, let's, uh... You're the worst person. Let's see him close to chest. You're the worst person in this okay. room. Okay. Like, <laughs> bar we'll find, a, we'll find a way. <laughs> you pro- look at me. Look us in the eye. You'll find a way that we'll bring him back. Of today. Course. Today. Maybe tomorrow morning. <laughs> no, no, no. Today. Or, not, or we'll take him back right now. Why do I have his notes? What did I talk... I forget what I talked to. I talked to Beard here about him, right? About Stripe? No, about uh, Rothschild. I don't know if it was Beer here or Boomadon that told you about him. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe it was Boomadon. I can't remember what we said. I don't recall. That was like two weeks ago, but it was last night. You were drunk. It was one of. It was this one character's of them. lawful, huh? That's fine. It's super lawful. But this I don't is the paladin character. About. about him being. Like, get the fuck out of here. Back in jail. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so you Becky did lock myself in here. <laughs> I murdered that person. Becky's you gotta lock to, me to up. Wake up, Roth, Take Ross me Charles away. Take wake me away. Wake up already. <laughs> uh, I'd say he's 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 pretty asleep. Okay. Uh, she starts shaking him. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, hey, what the fuck? Keep it down. Shut up. I do. Why am I? What? She, she, put, she puts her, her, her hand close to his mouth. He there. tries to bite your hand. Well, see, that is why you're tied up. Relax. We we broke you out. Relax. You just smell the sour breath. Well, yeah. I probably yeah, can't man. smell it over the sewer. No, you do. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, listen. This is just a precaution. Alright. Precaution for what? I thought we were gonna kill everybody. You don't remember us tying you up last night? No? We tied you up before you went to sleep. Roll deception. I'm gonna, no, you're I'm gonna, gonna roll say, 25. I'm gonna it's say, like, that's what I, I, I tied you up this morning. No, I didn't <laughs> get it. I failed a bunch, Joe. Shut the fuck up. Well, Stripe just rat at you at anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. I say, I say, no, I just tied you up. So goblins, why am why am I tied up? I thought we we're breaking breaking out together. No, you piece of shit. You're going back to the dungeon. Well, I got the explosives. You're right. I thought we were going to the no, explosives. No, no, you must do your time. What are you talking about? You're a criminal. <laughs> so are you. No, we're You not. guys killed the guard last we night. We did not do that. Yes, you did. <laughs> no, we didn't. Yes, you did. You, did you guys killed the guard last no, night. No, no. I saw his corpse. We have not killed any guys. No, no, no. We did not kill him. That was blood mist. He, he just gives you that look. Hey, blood mist was carved on his chest. So what do we do now? I, well, all right, what do we do now? Just keep quiet. We're going to move down this... Uh, what did you do to get locked up anyway? That's a good question. You know, before we have company, we should know what you were locked up for. I will take this time to make a potion and drink it as well, anyway. I don't, I don't know specifics, but I, I heard that there was a cave, the one I talked about last night, to the west by the falls. It has something to do with Hainsworth... The man that I serve, and some of his subordinates, they went on an expedition long ago, and they found something in there. It has something to do with the number 33. I'm, I'm not too sure exactly what it is, but I was trying to find the entrance to the cave, and uh, it was guarded by this knight named Richfell. Uh, I tried to trick him to get inside the cave, but he arrested me instead and brought me here. He describes this knight. He wears white and gold armor, but he has that slash sigil. On his chest, and he's a high elf. And he doesn't. He you can't talk to him. I tried to bribe him. I tried to. Uh, what was his name? Rich, Sir Richville. I tried to. I tried to bribe him to get past, and he he wasn't even trying to hear me. Who doesn't take a bribe? So I take a little piece of the rope and I put it in his mouth, and then I kind of like tie it around his head so he can't <laughs> talk. Sir, he's an eco terrorist. There's no need for this scum. Eco terrorist. I mean, does eco terrorism happen? Caves are a beautiful natural place. Why would he just try to destroy it? Perhaps it's... Well, there are creatures that live in caves. Perhaps there was a monster. They can't live there if he destroys it. Well, they can terrorize a city if they're dead. Is there any proof of that? I don't know. You, you gagged them. I don't gag them. And there are monsters in this cave. Some, some chaos guys before me went in there, never returned. Uh, I'm not sure, but I know Hainsworth wants me to get in there and seal the entrance. He wants me to destroy it so that no one could ever get get in there. Whatever's in there, he wants to keep it from coming out into our world. So uh, but I know that the queen wants it open to research it or some shit. She's a fucking idiot. I'll put this gag back in. So you go. We're not convinced. Well, okay. Let us go bring him before this queen. Uh, that's not a good idea. Well, if she needs to know, I want to. We want to Wait, hear does, from he her. Not, does he not know that they wanted to arrest him? Yeah. So he knows that they wanted to arrest him. Oh, yeah. uh, are you unaware that they were going to falsely imprison you? Well, if, if, I have, if we have committed an actual crime, then yeah, we should be imprisoned. Do you not know of the things you have done? We haven't done that. Yo. Fucked up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, not, what does Vecna do in this situation? Um, <laughs> what does let's not do? rush into it. Like I said, we were falsely accused of something. If we go up yeah, there right is... now, no, no, if we go up there right now, we'll be thrown in the, lock, in the, the prison. Let things cool down. Maybe our friends on the inside, wherever they are. I, actually, I don't know where they are. You have. We still have to find our friends. You have three hours. If we do not find our friends first, we are taking this piece of garbage. Back to jail. So it's fine, but you will not go there. 
You stay with me. Okay, as long as with you, he's taking this piece of garbage back to jail. I do not care about this garbage. Okay, well, we do, and we're taking him back in <coughs> three hours. <coughs> Shut the fuck up, and I kick him. <laughs> I mean, I honestly think that uh, he was trying to collapse the cave for a reason. Mm, it sounded convincing to me. This is what we're going to find out. What? We're, how are we going to do this? I'm going to bring him in front of this queen and that and demand answers. Well, then that would be her opinion versus his opinion. No, it's just called a trial. In a queen's court? Mm-hmm. And the queen's opinion is the opposite of this man's? A fair trial, yes. As I know, a, I know a thing of justice. This is not a fair trial. We're not talking about pirates' justice. Neither am I. What kind of justice are you talking about? I explain how Golden Tuck all of a sudden became such a just <laughs> pirate. <laughs> and how he only thinks was by the book in justly. If I touch how close does it? Uh, she pulls the, the rope out of Rothschild. Rothschild. Uh, uh, how far is the cave? What's his face? A few days walk. I, uh, he was trying to make a stamina. I can, I can if we steal some horses, it'll be, it'll be half as long. That's it. it. not worth it for me. You took the, the rope out of your mouth? Yeah. All right. You and I need to find these places. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> you can Put the rope back in his mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you treating him so bad? Because he's all of a sudden a paladin. <laughs> All right. Uh, Why don't you try to find disguises? We will watch this prisoner here. They would. Uh, do I? I still have that jailer's tunic. If I flip it inside out, it, what does it show on the other side? It looks like the ins. It looks like the inside out so tunic. Just, uh, all right. On the back of the tunic, what is the colors on the back? Okay. What color did I say was blue? Tire. Blue. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks blue. But now that I've spent the night in the store, is it still? Blue and brown. <laughs> so you guys are just going to walk out into the street Same. in the broad daylight, covered in shit. Hey, I'm sure this town has righteousness <laughs> has uh, no bounds. What, um, with the stinkiest dude ever, whose breath is worse than the smell of the actual sewer. Little one, mm. can you do you think that these sewers will lead out to fresh water? If there, if there's a river somewhere nearby. Well, all sewers have to lead to some kind of a. Uh, yes. Yeah. Some water source. Yeah. You think so, you could find a way? Yes. Because I'd like to get some of these feet off. Okay. Would you know that a lot of those sewers have like those grates in the end, so that physical stuff doesn't actually pass through? Well, I don't this know. This is ancient times. About the ancient know. sewers don't really have that. I mean, it could. It could. But it could. So, so then we'll spend our time while they're doing their thing, going to fresh water. Fresh water. And during okay. that time, I'll make my potion and drink it. So Vess and uh, Sora get ushered into this uh, throne room, this uh, council okay, chamber. It's the worst I <laughs> fucking love you. I love you. But it's entertaining. It is very entertaining. Wait, you got caught? No, no. no. no they're in Not the sewers, but his character is like lawful good. Yeah. He wants to turn himself in practically. And Vess is like, or Vecti's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought we were in this together. Yeah. But I knew, of his, I knew of his personalities. Still the fucking worst one to roll. I wish I at least got the specific pacifist. time, probably. I wish I got the pacifist at least. Yeah, because mm. she'd go along with whatever you say. She. So you walk, in, you walk into the chamber, which is massive. There are soldiers lining mm -hmm. both sides of the walls. They're, they appear to be mostly half elves, or I'm sorry, mostly high elves, but not all. There is fancy tapestries hanging from the ceilings and the walls. There is lush red velvety rug leading up to this raised dais. Um, what you see is raised high, sitting on this fancy, dark blue marble throne. You see a distinguished looking female high elf wearing a pink and light blue raiment. She has a flowing... What? Raiment. The raiment, what's that? The outfit, ensemble. Yeah. She has a flowing pink cape and pink eyeliner. She has a very, very cute, not beautiful, but very, very cute face. Oh, like Donald. With bright pink lipstick on her lips. The, the elf has long, silky black hair done up in a very fancy, but foreign to you fashion. She has these large, uh, a large square earring on each ear. These earrings are very, very bright pink. She also wears a diamond necklace that sparkles beautifully in the light. To the elf's left and right are six figures, three on each side, sitting in really, really fancily carved wooden chairs. Uh, with a very, very fine finish. On the left, you see a high elf. He has a noble look to him and a very strong jaw. 
The elf has a flowing, fine black hair, a pink cape, and light blue armor. You see a very, very small fairy, a tiny sized fairy, with this deep blue skin and long, messy white hair. And you see a half orc wearing silk of gold merchant's clothes, a silk of gold turban. The half orc has a strangely intelligent look on him. On her right side, you see a gnome wearing plain yellow robes. He has a huge puff of white hair on his head. You guys would recognize him as Camembert, who you spoke to the previous night. Okay, and that's who I'm supposed to see, right? At the school of magic, you want to talk At the to. school of magic, yeah. Uh, you also see a half elf dressed very similar to the rangers that you encountered in the Chipotle woods. Green boots, green cloth over his eyes with eye holes so he could see, green gloves, and a green cape. This one looks a bit different though, as he's a half elf, not a full elf like the others, and this one is missing his nose. Huh. And the last figure is a drow wearing <laughs> fancy purple robes with black armor underneath. The drow has a very serious stoic look on his face. You recognize him as Dakar. Dakar, okay. Dakar the same. Um, uh, well, I was gonna say, you know, before we start walking, you know, Sword and Vess are gonna kind of like stand there, you know, kind of like formal. holding hands. No. no, maybe I'll hold your arm, not hands. Okay, yeah, like a, one, like one of these things. Uh, and Sword is not gonna to begin to approach until invited. You hear uh, the gnome. He stands. And speaks in a loud, booming voice, as you heard the previous night. That pressed the negation. Did you mm -hmm. get us, or we're not there? Not yet. Okay. You hear, you stand before Inez, queen of Dova, and true ruler of all in these lands. That's Kneel before her majesty. Oh, obviously. Sword does. Yeah. yeah, sword does. Really? Yeah. So, you know how I gave you that renown the last time? You guys, you guys both get an additional renown. Sweet. Remember I gave you renown last time? We have plus two renown with slight that means. I don't know Whatever that means. That means. The, the gnome sits, and the, that woman, that queen, she speaks. She says, Tee hee. <laughs> Camembert, they don't have to kneel if they don't wish to, my lovely lord of cheese. Cheese? The half orc speaks up and he says, I agree, your grace. Your generosity and magnificence should be obvious to all. They should be kneeling on their own accord. <laughs> Um, what is decorum to wait till we ask to kneel, or would it be to kneel immediately? Because obviously Soren and Vess would know what, well, I guess it would be different in each kingdom. I would say that in Ferelden, you can make up what you do, but this isn't Ferelden. Okay. So you don't know. And then it says, allow me to introduce you to my royal council. To my right, Lord Shilter, hand of the queen and my greatest protector. He that's goes. The, that's the high elf. Yes. He goes where I go. The high elf stands, like a very formal, like a formal introduction, and he speaks. I have been protecting the rightful ruler of Dova for some time. I will keep my queen safe, always. Justice, integrity, honor. And he sits down. Vessel will bow her head. Sword will bow as well. And as uh, motions to the gnome that you recognize as Lord Camembert, and she says, Lord Camembert. He's a gnome, master of research, master of spells, and lord of fine cheeses. He handles Slay's <laughs> forays into uncovering the mysteries of the world and unearthing its great power. Uh, lord Cambert stands, nods. That's a good one of these. He gives and, a, a and very... And a little bow. He gives a slightest little smile, knowing smile, but he's being very professional and very... Well, she was like a little... <laughs> <laughs> sits back down. And that says, Joy McCriggins, master of coin. Half orcs have the Pinkle unfair McCrigan, reputation of being poor with finance, but Joey is a special case. He is familiar with all the merchants in town and all over the fringe for that matter. His calculations and approaches towards trade and banking are unparalleled. The, the orc stands, he waves his hand, and says, Greetings, friends! Back down. Is he a, a regular size half or is he smaller? Regular size. I'm picturing like the Hulk in like a suit. 
kind of like ripping through it a little bit. Like so the you, seams are so ready move to burst. Ferrigno's Hulk. Yeah, okay. like that. That's yeah, what I'm picturing right now with glasses. I'd say it's a pretty good. That's actually a pretty good. Okay. But he's got the Hulk. turban and the Lou Ferrigno's gold Hulk stuff. Really tight clothes. And yeah, like, real tight like, voice. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the highest pitch <laughs> voice of an orc ever. <laughs> oh, hi guys, I like, I like money. Well, it's a half orc, so oh, it's still well, human okay. features. And she motions to, to the fairy. She says, Lady Rose is a fairy trickster and my spy master. You may have run into her without knowing it. Uh, and Rose does not stand. She just giggles. <laughs> and then she stands up and she gives like this really mocking, like curtsy towards you guys, like kind of making fun of you. And then goes, nice to see you all again. <laughs> Speck down. <laughs> she motions to the, uh, the half-elf ranger. She says, a, um, they, they, she, uh, Vest and Sworn. No, like yeah. nod to each of them so we don't have to say it every time. Acknowledge respectively yeah. to each yeah. one. And she says, um, This half elf is the first ranger of Slay, Kevlian Greystone. Oh. Uh, he scouts, gathers intel, and skirmishes with our enemies alongside Slay's hand picked rangers. The, 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 like it or not. Kevlian yeah. stands uh, and he looks just very professionally and he says, Atra Esterni Ono Felduin. Is that, what language is that? that is Elvish. It's like a uh, oh, Elvish speak, greeting. Speak Elvish. What is this? It's like an Elvish greeting. It's, oh. it's not like a direct translation. So it doesn't it's like, matter. It's like a very formal Elvish greeting. Okay. Literally, it translates to formal Elvish greeting. Hey, how you doing? Then Inez says, um, uh, "This row in the last seat, I believe you are familiar with. Uh, Dakarth terms many. He is my master of war." And Dakarth just stands, says nothing, and looks menacing, and then sits back down. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> What is uh, Kevlion's official title? First Ranger. So tell me, why exactly have you come to Queen's Grace? I've heard mm -hmm. some of you, you serve is? King One. Oh, uh, we could use assistance this. here in the fringe. Perhaps we can it's help like each a, other. M. Night Shyamalan well, would be after so success. So we'll like, respectfully kind of bow and ask if it is okay yeah. if we move closer <laughs> to the I didn't expect that at that. all. Because we're, we're well, slowly left the door. We haven't moved. You may approach the dais. So, hook his arm. I knew it. I was waiting for it. God damn it, Joe. I knew it. Sword pass fireball. Uh, Shilter says the high elf. Our men battled Forte, Chaos, and Frank a fortnight ago. During the battle, the man known as Karaganda dropped three keys during the melee. We recovered one of them. It seemed important to him. We had since learned all three keys are required to enter the labyrinth beneath Pride Cutter Keep. We will be happy to give it over if you complete a few tasks for us. Surely, King One will... Unfortunately, someone accidentally unplugged the sound mixer at this point, and we no longer had audio for the rest of the session. Tune in to next episode, where I will recap the rest of the session. See you there. Thanks for watching this episode of Power Word Nerd. Be sure to follow us on all social media sites.